Hey, wait for us. What is that? There is something very weird about this fog. Stay close. Hey. Come and check this out. What on earth is that? Not a clue. Your name, sir. I'm Andrew. Andrew? And your name, lady? Who the hell are you? Why are you dressed like that? I am called Mary. I fashioned her with my own hand. She looks just like the one beside you. Would you kindly come play with me? Come play. Come play with what me. What witch's trickery is this now, Mary? I have done nothing. Hold your tongue. I see you truly are, Mary. Reverend Carver's affection for you will be shaken loose when he learns of your infidelity with the devil. else out here by the fire what I, I don't see any fire I saw them too are you okay this place is all wrong whatever happened here it's over now you have no clue you didn't see what we saw I don't get it what exactly happened here This young girl came out of the fog, spoke to us. Maybe the fog has got you confused. We're all stressed out. Stressed my ass. I saw a girl dancing right here, clear as day. Said her name was Mary. Looked exactly like the girl in my dream, but she talked in this really weird accent. Was that even American? I'm not sure. I couldn't place her accent either. What have we gotten ourselves into? This kid. Mary, did she want to hurt you? No. I don't think she meant to hurt me. Now what? Seems our only option is the road into town. You're kidding me. Got a better idea? Thought not. Escalated rather quickly. All things are fine in moderation unless. Lord, what fools these mortals be. We sometimes congratulate ourselves on waking from a troubled dream. It may be so the moment after death. On my travels over many years, I've witnessed many things, seen and heard many beliefs, and there's usually some element of truth in each of them. These unfortunate folk seem to be dealing with forces as yet unexplained. I mean, 
sinister movements in the forest, spirits from the past, a little girl who may be in trouble. Or maybe she simply is trouble. Anyway, where are we? Angela isn't getting much tittle-tattle out of Taylor. <laughs> no kiss and tell. What about John? The figure of authority, perhaps. Or perhaps he represents something else. And then there's Andrew. Somewhat confused, I think. A bump to the head can do that. Let me reassure you. You helped make some decisions that will be valued later on. And some that may turn out to be regrettable. That fellow in the bar, he was less than helpful, more than a little rude, if you ask me. Clearly something disturbing on his mind. Enough. There's something not quite right in Little Hope, and souls may be in peril. Off you go again. See if you can lift the fog. Find the bus driver. That little girl, she sounded so strange. I could barely understand her. She sure sounded like she wasn't from anywhere around here. Now, I'm tempted to say she sounded more like she was from another time than another place. You're right. You hear that? What was that? It's gotta be something small, nocturnal. Nothing to worry about. I really hope you're right. You see that? Some big ass animal. I hope so. If not, what the fuck? Might get a better view from up there. How are you coping? I don't know. What do you think happened to us back there? I feel like we're in danger. There's something very off about this place. Yeah, I hear you. What is out there? We will find a way out of here. We have to. I hope you're right. Appreciate you checking in with me.
Could this have something to do with what we saw? I guess it could, but it didn't feel like that. I don't know which is worse. Ghostly apparitions or a town full of historical weirdos. There's something up ahead! Which way? Can we move it? Amen to that. Look at that! Hey, wait! Stop! I'm just gonna say it. This is exactly what goes down in horror movies. What the hell do we do now? I'll deal with this. Stay right here. Hold up, I'll come with you. Hey, you two! <gasps> this is not good. Want from me. Who are you? What are you doing here? These are most troubling times. Wait, don't go. Stay away. What the hell are you? What do you want? Look, it's impossible. A black tongue full of riddles. I will not succumb to a witch's spell. Please, Lord, I beg you. Rid me of these apparitions. Who are you? This can't be happening. Fix your gaze elsewhere. You are no husband of mine. Let's get into town. It's not so far now, and it's our best shot at getting help. You guys okay? I am very far from okay. I am terrified and confused. I just saw my own double in the fog. What happened in there? This woman came out of nowhere in the fog, dressed like an extra from Salem. She was garbling something in an accent I didn't recognize, and most disturbing of all, she was the spitting image of me. How is that even possible? You're blowing this out of proportion, Angela. I am all done here. 
Seems the fog won't let us go anywhere except into the center of town. The fog decides where we can and can't go? Fuck that. I'm trying another way. Don't you kids watch horror movies? You never ever split up. Those movies are dumb. And I'm going this way without you. Maybe splitting up isn't such a good idea, Taylor. No way am I going down there. <sighs> I'm with John. I'm with Taylor. Seriously? You want to go with her? Okay, for me, this is a bad idea. Very bad. I'll team up with Taylor. It's not safe for you to be hanging around here on your own. Two teams are more likely to find a way out, which is what we all want, right? I guess you're right. If the fog lets you through and you find help, send them into town to find us. Just you and me, kid. I'm glad you stuck with me. You picked the winning team. Hold up. You hear that? Somewhere around here, there must be an easier way back up to the road. Let's move out. You got an explanation for what we saw? Nothing that makes sense. I do know there were witch trials in Little Hope around the same time as Salem. Now what? Okay. I wonder where the others are right now. Feels like it's my fault we split up in the first place. I feel responsible for everyone here. You are all in my care. How would you handle all this in my position? Don't worry so much about what you're doing. You need to look out for all of us. Jesus. I am looking out for you all. And look at the thanks I get. Just like the rest of them. You're judging me. Jeez, you were droning on so much, I felt like I was back in your lecture hall. You've never complained about my lectures before. I'm just trying to help. You need to liven up your style a little. Get with us millennials. Are you for real? My teaching is just fine.
Great job. Glad you made it over. That was crazy back there. Sorry I took off like that. I'm more twitchy than I thought. Thanks for coming after me. Let's carry on, shall we? This place is our best shot. There must be a radio or a working phone inside. Maybe even our driver, too. Look around for something we can break the glass with. Give me that. I'll smash the window. No problem. I can do this. Okay. If you're sure. Anyone can do this. Not anyone. Putting a rock through a window at ten paces? Anyone can make the shot. If you're feeling under pressure, let someone else do it. I'm not feeling pressure. Just saying. Can you stop talking? <laughs> oh, strike! We'll make a ball player out of you yet. You think a rookie could make a shot like that? Safe enough. Piece of cake. I know you saw something. It's written all over you. I don't want to discuss it. What I want is to get far away from here. Close the school down. Forget about that. Even if you make it over, there's no way I'm following. Goes for both of us. I never did like school. Let's get out of here. Oh, looks like there's no way through. I might have made a bad call here. I shouldn't have listened to you back there. We'd still all be together. No one forced you. We need to work out what to do now. We're not done yet. We'll find another way.
Hey, are you okay? Who are you? What are you doing here? Something is real off about this whole thing. This the same little girl you saw with Andrew before? She's dressed different. Don't get too close. didn't just happen. Quiet now. I'll be gone. What are you talking about? Get away or you will find me. <gasps> Come on out, Mary. I know very well you are in there. Please, no, let me go. I will release you once I am sure you will not speak of our secret. Your childish games tire me. You will respect me, and you will say nothing. No! What is this? Let's get out of here, right now. Do not find me here. Please. Who are you pleading with? Evil clings to you. That is plain to see. You are mistaken. I am a child. The devil has no time for me. Amy is the one he craves. I have seen it with my own eyes. I will have the truth, one way or another. You come with me, girl. What the fuck? Can someone tell me what just happened? The girl with the priest. That's the one I saw with Andrew. There must be a connection between her and the other girl. I think you're right. I don't get it. We have to get away from here. Far away. Agreed. Let's go. I'm glad you're here. Both of us are getting out of here. You'll see. <clears throat> Could mean someone's around. Maybe they can help. Let's head over. Here, need a hand? Ah. Let me help you. I don't think this takes us out of this shitty town. There's no road. Wherever it leads, it's wreaking havoc on my shoes. Must lead somewhere, though. I'm not so sure. There's barely even a path. Place must have been a grocery store or something. That campaign didn't work out too well. What are you doing? Help me push this, will you? Seriously? There's no other way. Oh, I've got no choice.
Over here, look at this. Let's just find another way. Let me see if I can get this open. Seriously? You're going in there? Well, do you have a better suggestion? Sure. Don't go into an old, dark, creepy-ass building after the night we've had. I'll be as fast as I can. If you see anything weird, just yell. I'll come running. Okay. Will do. I need your phone. What for? Flashlight. It's dark in there. Please be quick. I'm in! Is it safe? Think so. Pull your finger out of <clears throat> Taylor, the door won't open. Okay, we'll look for another way around. Hello? Who's there? Hey! Can't get through. This window is all boarded up. You gave me a shock. Shit, sorry. Should I call you a nurse? How is it in there? This place is creeping me out. It's full of old ass, useless shit. Head to the front. I'll meet you there. Can you step on it? We'd like to get out of here sometime. Sure thing. Hold on. I'll be right there. Will you relax? I'm coming. Angela, how the hell? The back door is locked. What troubles you? What is happening? Soon they will come for me. Calm yourself, wife. Who is coming for you? They're talking about me. There are accusations. Accusations of what sort? They talk that I'm in league with the devil, that I'm guilty of witchcraft. There's no sense in that. Who would say such a thing? I, I cannot rightly say. Stay where you are. Fine. Just tell me what's happening. How did I get here? 
And where the fuck is he? Hold your tongue. You are privy to the rumors about my wife, Amy? What rumors? Open the door, Joseph. This instant. Enough of your foolishness. Tell me precisely what you know. I did see a young girl back there. Tell me about her. Let me go! Joseph, this ends badly if you do not open up. You will be in contempt of our warrant. What plan do we have? I will resolve this. My word on it. Do not admit them. Reverend Carver. Marshal. I have here a legally written warrant for the arrest of Amy. My wife has done nothing wrong. There is a witness to your wife speaking in tongues. Who accuses my wife? Mary. The word of a child condemns my wife. You will deliver yourself into the Marshal's hands for your own good. Then I must accompany her. She will not leave my sight. Such action will not aid your wife's cause. Trust in justice. Do not fear. I will find a way to resolve this. Where the hell have you been? You look freaked. What's up? You saw something else, right? You're not going to believe this, but I saw two people who looked like the professor and Angela. John, too? Well, look-alike Angela was arrested. <laughs> she was being accused of witchcraft. The spooky little girl, she gave the name Amy to the priest. That's what got the woman arrested. This is ridiculous. There are no witches, never have been. What kind of people accuse others of that kind of crap? The woman, Amy, I guess she's in deep shit then. Oh. We've really screwed up here. Instead of getting out of this awful place, we're right back in the middle of town. What do you think? I'm not so sure we'll find anything useful in here. It's derelict. You students are all the same. Doom, gloom, and negativity. Never mind how it looks. All we need is one phone to still be hooked up. Something up? Yeah, there's something kind of familiar about this place. These small town police stations all look the same. There's got to be a phone in here someplace. Real nice.
There's got to be something. Keep looking. thing. I thought this was her way out. We have a winner. Found a phone. This could be our way out. Line's dead. <coughs> Shit! <laughs> Whoa! Hey! Take it easy. Thinking I know what's wrong. Please do share. There's no cable plugged in. Uh, there's got to be a cable here someplace. that
What do you think? Answer it. I can do this. Be careful. Don't stress it, Professor. What can you hear? A woman. She sounds real upset. Talk to her. Try to get some details, her location, anything we can use to find her. Okay. Cool it, will you please? I can help you out here, but before I can do that, you need to tell me where you are. Push harder. Find out what the fuck is going on. Back off, will you? This woman has freaked the fuck out. I knew it. I should have taken the call myself. As I walked, a man and a woman appeared at my front. I had not seen them approach. I, I reached out in fear. I did not know them. Their clothes and manner of speaking were not familiar to me. They spoke of things that I could not make sense of. I swear I do not know where he came from or what this man wanted of me. I could not make sense of the things he spoke of. You must believe me, I beg you. I'm not falsely accused of crime. I would speak with you. You cannot talk of our secret. Eternal damnation awaits if you do. We have an understanding, do we not? No evil words shall leave my lips. Should you breathe a word, or the edge of a word about the other things, then I will come to you in the black of some terrible night and bring a reckoning that will shudder you. Now, Reverend, let us begin. Enough time has gone begging. Go be with you, kin. I beseech this court, and good Judge Wyman, do not be fooled by the protestations of the accused. The devil is the master of deceit. All his servants feign innocence. They can do little else. I solemnly swear before God, I am innocent of all accusations against Hush me. Hush now, Amy. What the hell should we do? We need to stay quiet. Just let this play out. See what happens. I mean no offense, Reverend Carver. I do not believe any of my neighbors, those who know me best will speak out against me. They know who I am, that I side with the righteous. I will not be caught in the web of your deception. The devil hides himself where he is least expected. My wife is no devil's plaything, Reverend. I beg the court's forgiveness. But I stand by my statement. My wife Amy is innocent. I respectfully ask this good court to pay no mind to the words of a man whose very home is foul with the stench of brimstone. I feel a chill in my bones. What manner of evil is this? The beast has his malevolent gaze upon us. His servant is among us. What the? Stay out of this. The supposed evidence against me is little more than spiteful imaginings. If there be darkness here among us, I will shine. No! Mary? Mary, my sister, what ails you? What have you done to this child? You have bound an innocent girl into a pact with the devil himself. The poor oh. creature seems possessed. What no doubt you're of? doing. It's not true, Reverend. Why have you taken against me, sir? We will the see the truth of it. Her. Amy, lay your hands on Mary. Let us see what occurs. No if I am sister. correct, your you touch will no release danger. her from this affliction. What ails you? It must be so, if you are the one who bewitched her. I don't think I can take much more of this. I think it's almost over. You are in no danger. They are here. 
here among us. They are here among us. No! What more proof is needed that the devil walks among us in little hope? <laughs> Take heed and pray. The devil is here in this very room. Protect yourselves. Seek out the Lord. What the hell was that shit? Was that for real? Felt pretty damn real to me. Seriously? Didn't the witch trials happen centuries ago? Most of them over 300 years ago. Then how come we just saw one? Like I say, I have no good explanation. That little girl who had some kind of seizure. What do you think was going on there? I know that little girl. She's the one me and Angela saw back in the woods. Accusations were often malicious, made by someone with a grudge. Or by meddling liars, like that little girl who took perverse pleasure in poisoning their own communities. I'm with you. That kid knew exactly what she was doing when she dropped Angela 2.0 deep in the shit. The woman we just saw condemned? I saw her back at the intersection. She was in deep shit. And she knew it. It's tough to watch. Who's that? Hey, Professor! You in there? Come on, let's go. Hey, Taylor! We're in here! We can't open the damn doors! Uh, we can't either! They must be locked! Let's all try to force the handle. In three, two, one... Taylor. Hey, Professor. Find anything that could get us out of here? Nah, big fat nothing back there. Just a pile of junk. Are you okay? I know what happened. That other version of me was arrested, charged with witchcraft. She stood trial and was condemned for witchcraft. We need to know what that woman is facing. What's gonna happen to her next? I like the idea, but how would we even begin to find that out? We've already been down those paths. Maybe the answer lies down the one path we haven't taken yet. What the hell? This is fucking crazy. We have no clue what we're getting ourselves into. The trial, the strange girl, Angela's double. Feels like it's all building towards something. Only question is... Are we headed someplace good or bad? And bad is probably very, very bad. Who is she? What the hell does it mean that she's here? She can't be real. She has to be a manifestation. You mean the reason she's here is because you're here? You got a better explanation? I don't have an explanation. John says witch trials really happened right here in Little Hope. He's right. I think they did. Then that woman was on trial hundreds of years before I got here. So how can I be manifesting her? Reincarnation? Reincarnation? Why not? You came back here because of her, because you once were her. And the rest of us? We're all reincarnated from these people and we happen to be at the same college on the same bus trip here? Like I said, I don't have an explanation. I'm just guessing is all.
This fog is getting worse. Daniel, you need to see this. What is it? You've been keeping your career as a guitar player under wraps? What the? How is that even possible? Maybe the fog was the reason for the diversion. We were never meant to make it out of here. I can't see for shit. Jesus! The water looks black. I don't want to go anywhere near it. Okay. Who's first up? Huh. Professor, you keep telling us you're in charge. So, 